Alrighty, thank you to Amazon Prime for sending me this 3DX Tech Captain Tape and uh, everything is on schedule there and we've got uh, Amazon Prime Radio 80s station in the background here helping us get some work done and after doing a bunch of recalibrating and things there's a scaling thing that I'm going to show a picture of what it says of the Replicator 2X as far as the parameter size and what reality is and I will show those pictures and right now we're just testing I'm gonna go with zero uh, raft we're at 145 on the platform with 240 degrees on the extrude and everything is sticking really nicely so we'll come back after a little while here and see how our projects coming along Okay, the first layer laid down pretty nicely, and now we have one little corner here. Let's see if we can zoom in and get some good focus there. Right there on that one corner. Yeah, it's kind of hard with that window there. Anyway, there's uh, a little uh, spot on the corner that's raised up a little bit, but our primary base layer is looking good. And this is also with the uh, uh, cheaper generic stuff, which I got at uh, Micro Center. So we're also testing film along with the test print that this is for print a thing. And what we're going to be looking for is the overall size the uh, squareness, perpendicularities, uh, general runouts of the surface conditions, and overall, uh, how does my machine compete with the rest of the gang as far as uh, being able to work with uh, customers as far as their requests and fulfilling those. Torment you in a little while. Okay, <clears throat> here we are with a rebuild, and uh, what I had done was uh, increased my bed temperature to 150, and the uh, extruder at 250, because this is the, uh, uh, call it cheap film, filament from... Uh, Micro Center at uh, $20 a spool compared to the $50. In all honesty, I think I'm going to stick with the MakerBot uh, $50 spools. And uh, we have a cold spot up here in the uh, Florida corner of our build plate. But where my other cold spot was over here in this corner is doing just fine. And I think. I'll be able to quit mother henning this little fellow when uh, uh, we get past these beams. And I think we're very close on this left side here to completion. And uh, 3D X Tech uh, filament here is doing quite well. It's, uh, I've got another photograph there which I'll insert here of the. Uh, the first test there last night that failed and uh, all in all I'm totally impressed with uh, everything working here with Amazon you know us old dogs gotta learn new tricks and stuff <laughs> more later
Okay, now I'm back to a nervous spot here. We see that my beams are looking a little bit like uh, bolt tolls here on the cold spot over on that Florida corner. Now what had happened here is my my round shaft that's going to be the tallest item in the part fell off but we see that we're getting rebuilt here as we're moving along even though it's tilted <laughs> this is pretty wild <laughs> this is just too wild because Taking a look at that bond surface, there's not much to stick on. Come on from the top here. Let's see. There we go. That's about as good as it's gonna get. You can see that the that one closest to us on the viewpoints left got tilted a little bit. The other one did not tilt. This is just too wild. Boy, Andy and the guys over there at the print of things sure came up with one whale of a test. This is phenomenal. But how well this Replicator 2 is doing stacked against the uh, laser centering printers, I'd say it's giving them a fair run for their money. So now, from here on out, we'll uh, pick up into some of the CAD story, and uh, now I get to have a uh, shipping packaging test. See how well I package parts, and see my uh, triangle fellas over here, the uh, triangulated, uh, what do you want to call that? Uh, fine beams anyway, they broke down a little bit there. Well, that's as far as we're taking her. We are now going to cancel this and we are at uh, 92% here. I know you can't see it very well. Anyway, <laughs> severe experience here. <laughs> Well, here we are taking a look at our screenshot here with this marvelous uh, Amazon music in the background here with Skate Away by Dire Straits. And what I've done here is taken the calculator and done 92% of 720 layers comes up with 662. So let's zoom in on this fellow. And find out what that layer 662 is looking like. Oops. So according to our vid, previously as far as how much material got uh, lost and mooshed around, this is where we are here. And while we're here, and we have print time and our weights, and by canceling, going into our settings, we have high resolution temperatures. We always default to the 110, and here's my last call up was the 250, and then bumping our build plate on up to 150. Speed, I like to back off just a little bit because in the CNC world, uh, rapid does not always have to be wide open. It's nice to the machine to be a little bit nicer to it. Now here's what's going to be really, really cool. 
is within the shark program. We have a new power pack here with 3D mesh tools that is absolutely huge. And I'll be picking up on that in the next movie here because this is absolutely phenomenally huge. So thank you for putting up with the old troll under the bridge, otherwise known as the dog learning a new trick. Thank you for viewing.